Hey everybody, it's John Brown, the one and only Bandana Gamer today, coming to you with a response to a challenge from my boy Ratboy at Ratboy Collectibles. Ratboy did a video on the most sentimental piece in his collection and then challenged me to do the same thing. And also I had been talking with uh, do you nerd and talking about a sentimental piece in my collection and had it kind of on my mind that I would do a video about this. So when rap boy threw the challenge down, I was like, okay, I'll, I'm going to skip this one ahead and just go ahead and do it. Um, so the piece in my collection that I'm the most sentimental about, and I went through and looked at all the different games I had thought about all the nostalgic experiences I have. And then you know, just really came down to what would I never in a million years get rid of. Even if it breaks, it would have a significant place in my house. And that is the NES that is hooked up to my CRT TV. I'm not going to pull it out because it's hooked up and I don't want to go behind and mess with wires and stuff, but I'll definitely make sure there are pictures right here uh, so you see it. Uh, the NES I have is not the one I had from when I was a child. Uh, it is one that was given to me later in life, and it used to belong to my good friend, Matt Hudson. Uh, Matt was a brother. Matt is a brother to me. Uh, we were first fraternity brothers, uh, and I just want to be clear, like when I say fraternity, it's not what you're probably thinking in terms of a fraternity. It was a real different kind of group Uh bunch of hippies hanging out in the woods a lot uh is kind of the way i describe it kind of a hippie version of animal house even though we were at such a small school and we didn't have houses um but we met each other through our fraternity and then when i went to work on my uh masters at the university of georgia he was there working on finishing up his undergrad so we moved in together because we knew each other and thought that would you know work out and we just we hit it off. Uh, Matt was an amazing person, one of the most, the smartest and well-read people I've ever known, uh, one of the most stubborn people I've ever known, uh, but also just a genuinely good-hearted dude. Uh, made every person he ever talked to feel like the most important person in the universe. And, you know, just uh, was one of the best men at my wedding. And uh, just one of the best friends and like I said is a brother to me and Matt is the reason I got into video game collecting specifically retro video games he was doing it and one time I was going to pick up a present for him uh, for an occasion and I'm not going to get too much into the story because there's a podcast coming later about all of this uh, but I went to pick him up a uh, present at a local video game store uh started talking to the manager for a good while and ended up year, a year or so later working at this retro video game store because I'd become so enamored with video games. And, <clears throat> and so I started collecting from there. It was Matt's influence. And, you know, if you can probably tell from the way I'm talking is Matt is no longer physically with us. Matt passed uh, a few years ago. And his mom asked if there was anything in that of his that we'd want. And I kind of chimed up and was like, if no one wants it, uh, I'd love his video games. Um, because that was kind of a connection me and him had. And, I, you know, I was like, I will give them a good home and I will cherish each and every one of them. And so I ended up with several pieces from his collection in mine. And one of them was his Nintendo and that's the Nintendo I used. I've put a blinking light win on it, uh, but I haven't done anything really internally. And <clears throat> then while I was putting that on, I had the case. And so I took the case to a friend who was a graffiti artist. And I told him a little bit about who Matt was and what our relationship was. And he did a portrait on the case for me. And that portrait has a lot of stuff about Matt uh, you know, being kind of the hippie kids, we were rivers and rocks, and I think our insignia, the fraternity insignia is on it. And also, the big centerpiece is St. Basil's Cathedral. And St. Basil's, for a lot of people, would maybe be the Tetris Castle. And the reason that's on there is Matt was a Russian history major, 
and loved Russian history, loved Russian literature, had St. Basil's Cathedral tattooed right here on him. And so it was a it was meant to be just kind of a celebration and remembrance of my brother, who I miss every day. Uh, but in some way, I, you know, I love playing that system because I feel like I'm getting to play with him. And that's why it is the most sentimental piece in my collection. It is my favorite piece in my collection, no matter what I get, you know, no matter if I get a rare game or anything super special, nothing tops being connected with that dude. Uh, and nothing, you know, makes me happier than to think of being goofy and being silly with my brother. And so that is the most sentimental piece in my collection. And I want to say thank you for watching this. But before I go, I want to challenge another YouTuber to share a sentimental piece in their collection. And I'm going to challenge a dude whose collection I just respect on a huge level. I mean, this guy has such an amazing, amazing set of things that he shows off on YouTube. And so I want to know a little bit more about uh, just something specific to him. And that is Game Bunker Adventures. I am going to challenge Game Bunker Adventures to show us something that is in his collection that he is really sentimental about. Well, that'll do it for this one, my friends. Peace, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.